You guys have been seeing videos of this Blue Cat 30 roaming around the internet. You've seen us do a video at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, but we have not seen what it's capable, capable of doing offshore, and that's what we're doing out of here today. It's blowing 30 plus out of Jupiter, and we're gonna take this bad boy through the inlet. These guys say it's been eating it up. We're gonna get to experience it ourselves, and we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. So check this out, this is a 30 foot center console with quad V8 300 grottos on the back. Has to do with a 12 and a half foot beam that this thing has. Look at how much room we have here. You can land a freaking airplane on this thing. And if you walk your way down the starboard side, you can see how roomy this is. You got three helm chairs there, three guys comfortable. And then you work your way up here, forward seat, cooler, and just look at this thing. It's a step up, you can take the upholstery out of the way. If you're gonna be fishing, you got storage throughout this entire thing, and you got a casting platform up here off the bow, perfect for throwing a cast net or sight fishing, whatever the heck you wanna do. But again, this is a 30 foot center console, absolutely massive, and we're gonna run through Jupiter Inlet the wind's not hitting us because we're protected by land right now, but check out the white caps down there. I don't know if you can zoom in. It is a washing machine. I'm not really looking forward to it, but we're gonna do it for the greater good of all you all watching. You're welcome. Oh my God. <laughs> Not ready. All right. Solid. Oh. Oh my Lord. This is insane. Bro, this is a hefty, hefty chop. This thing is eating it up. It definitely can handle more than the human body can handle. That's 100%. These are eight footers we're flying over. I don't know if this translates at all through the video. These are six to eight feet. We're doing 30 something miles an hour. Obviously less is on the throttle. God. That's the first little bit of overspray we've gotten since we came out here. That is absolute insanity. Look at this, we're making a pretty strong starboard side turn in it. Holy Christ. What do you think, Al? That is it's, it really, it really is insane, man. <laughs> Yeah. I came I came off I came off the ground like a foot or two like 12 times in a row. Dude, it's sporty out here. Well, sporty to say the least, but dude directly sideways. Watch out. Dude, this thing is incredibly solid. Holy moly. Watch how stable this thing sits in this cross. And that that said it's a little calmer out here that we got away from the inlet, but holy moly, there was a freaking there were 10 footers out there. <laughs> that was I don't think I've, I've been in water that bad, at least not at that speed. 
In a 30 foot boat. In a 30 foot boat. That is insane. Dude, not one rattle. And I think the only little bit of spray was right here when you just hit a wave there, but none of the thick stuff threw any water at all. I don't know if it did on that side any, but. No, it, it's, you know, and sometimes it's the, the wind's gonna, the, the space because it's, uh, yeah, the wind's gonna, the wind's gonna blow a little bit no matter what, but, but yeah, that was incredible, energy? man. Yeah, watch, that was incredible. Uh, just look, I mean, Is that crazy? Imagine trolling in this. No, oh, yeah. no need for a, no need for a gyro on this at all. Everybody good? Yeah. Well, are the engines trimmed at all, or what's uh, wrong with the? They're, they're just kind of set right now. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. right around... Won't touch anything. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> all right. right. To get on top, pull up back within reason. Uh, some of these skyscrapers we're climbing over. Jesus. How does it do like a, a quartering C? Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're running it, you can feel it. Don't kill it now. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to keep it uh, relatively slow. Oh my God. <laughs> How do you like it? It's incredibly solid. You don't hear one rattle. You don't hear one hollow smack. I mean, you don't get any of that reverb in the battle where you see some other boots literally shake. Yeah, no, uh, I haven't felt any of that. We would have felt it by now for sure. So I'm quartering C here a little bit. It's obviously awkward for cats and this wide beam. Curious to see how it does, but man, this thing is, is rock solid. Oh my lord. <laughs> yeah. We'll pull the rug out from underneath this. Yep. God. Feel like a pile of a gallon. I want you to feel no bounce. Do you trim up any more going into a falling sea in this? Keep it right there. All right. Let her eat a little bit. All right, following C. Obviously, this is like less mentioned there. Cats can sometimes bow steer. We're surfing on something right at the moment. Go a little faster. Oh my lord. Now then, bow stays up. Doesn't seem like it gets anywhere near wanting to stuff. Wow, man. Jesus Christ. Wow. All right, I'm sold. Things are battle. Unreal. Oh, it's kind of funny seeing like such width and, and having not a lot of bow in front of you, but to, to be able to do this in a 30 foot boat is unheard of. It's unheard. Not even a 30 foot boat, like you said, a 37, a 40 footer to be in what we're in today to run the speeds we're at. We got quite a few people on the boat. Man, I'd say you gotta feel it yourself to to believe it. And if you've been on a lot of boats, luckily we've had we've been blessed that we've been on a lot of boats and this is something different. That's really good. never felt anything like it. When people say something is special, we don't use that word lightly, but this this is special. You gotta try it. Reach out to these guys to set up a sea trial, find the rough day, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Definitely not lying about it. So congrats guys, this is, this is crazy, God. All right, so now since the blue cat passed the offshore test with flying colors, obviously catamarans sometimes struggle with turning, maneuverability, even in the flat calm water, 
you know, going through uh, Snake Creek down in the Keys, and uh, the channel that has twists and turns. So Les wants to show us what the boat is capable of. What are we going to do? Yeah, so we're just going to come down here. We're going to do some S turns. We're going to do some hard turns, some loops, basically demonstrate that this boat perfectly merges if you're used to running a mono haul and a catamaran. So you get all that stability. You don't actually have to touch the trim switches. You don't have to play with your throttle levers, pull in and out, depending on which way you're turning. You turn the wheel and the boat, believe it or not, will actually turn into the turn instead of outside. Yeah. So we're going to see that usually with a cat, obviously, like you mentioned, you got to play with the trim of the engines, lean or, or cheat the turn a little bit. He's telling us it's not required here. Now we're yeah. going to see it. Keep an eye on his hands. Jason, shoot from behind, see what we're doing and let's make it happen. All right, let's go guys. Oh my God. Wow. Well, this boat has several steps underneath each of the spawns and it's not a twin step tall what does it have like seven seven steps. mashui out in abu dhabi has explained what they have done with the design to be able to accomplish this and you always are skeptical when a designer says they have figured stuff out but it really looks like I, mean, I don't know, does it look like it slides? It's not sliding, it's grabbing no, well, but... It, it grabs, it, and it's interesting, because it'll first lean outside. Of course, you anticipate slightly. that. Yeah, just slightly. And then all of a sudden, it just dips over, and then all you gotta do is just power through the turn. Yeah. yeah. And we're doing, what, 40 miles an hour? 30, yeah, 30 we're doing eight. the 38 mile an hour. Mm -hmm. Man, you wanna feel it? Uh, yeah, give it a shot. So like I said, when you when you go to make that turn, it's a little bit uninstinctual because you, you do to get it to do that lean, you you turn. Okay. I'm gonna So I stay stay left and turn right out here? Hey, whatever you wanna do, just make sure you stay on this side of the reds. Good speed here? Uh, yeah, just slowly go into it, let her eat, and then and then dip it. All right, make it a right it, turn. Dip it, dip it, harder, 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 harder. There it goes. Start throttling. Leans, throttle through. <laughs> it's so weird. Definitely not used to that Watch on that a cat. Yeah. Go ahead, dip it. Holy Christ. It's crazy. Like you said, it's not something you're used to. Yeah. Just crank into the turn here hard, which you would usually never do on a cat. So watch it lean. I'm not touching any trim. Give it a little gas just to pull out of it. That is a tight turn. Watch that ball. Oh. I've come inside, yeah. Wow. It's hard to really explain it because it's, it's not like anything I've really ever felt before. When I first got on a cat, 
originally it was super strange to make the turn because obviously some of them will lean in the opposite direction of where you're turning. Normally what you'll do is you'll adjust the trim of the engine to cheat and kind of lean the boat in the direction you want to turn. So it takes a little bit of a learning curve here. Like you said, it's almost like combining, you know, some of the characteristics of a mono haul with the cat. So there isn't so much of a learning curve and I don't know how in God's name it's doing it, <laughs> but I can tell you it's doing it. <laughs> it's, it's so crazy to see. So I'm just not used to it. it it's, it's strange, but in a very good way. So very cool. Thank you very much for Absolutely. for showing us. And like I said, if you get the opportunity to see trial a Blue Cat 30 or their 17 they have over there, do it because nothing I can say here will explain what you'll feel if you actually get to experience this yourself.